Welcome back to El Merrimar. Last time you saw us, we relaunched back in the water and had some engine trouble. In this episode, you'll find out why as we service our engine. But first up, time for breakfast. Hello. Hello. I was completely out of action yesterday. Unfortunately. Um, I've got some insect bites and I'll put some pictures on that have gone, I don't know what they are, they're not infected, but I've had like a reaction to some insect bites. It's never happened to me before, so I took some like tablets yesterday and stuff and they knocked me out. Like, you were zonked. I was literally out of action for the whole day, just like so tired and lethargic. So I basically just slept yesterday and went to bed early. <laughs> Um, Bryn went out and met Andy of Ocean Cruises podcast last night because he's down here. So you yeah. went out for a couple of drinks and a late night. Literally, yeah. It's such a cool guy and interesting to talk to. Like, we literally talk for hours and hours. So. Literally, you were gone for like seven <laughs> hours or something, weren't you? Yeah, it was like we came, I came back to the boat, it was like four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So we had a really good chat, really good catch up. He's such a cool guy. So we're about to head out to go meet Andy now. I think we're going to go to a scuba diving shop with him. Yes. Because um, he's looking at buying some stuff and we're going to have a little mooch around probably as well. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, that's the plan. Might go for like a walk after the task list for all the stuff we've got to do on the boat has not started yet no we <laughs> but it's okay we've got we've kind of a few days grace can't yeah we? we're gonna have a couple of days yeah. grace and um, but we're gonna go meet andy now bye make the gap <laughs> we've got some friends as well that are really close to us looks like they're getting their sails out yeah, how are you feeling loads better I've slept for about 100 hours, I think, so I'm feeling great. I feel good. Chris, Jenny, yeah. the legends are back in our Mar. Reunited. reunited. Yeah. So, party tonight. Everyone's welcome. Yeah, everyone's welcome. I think we're going to have a few drinks with everyone. And in case you haven't checked out their channel, they've got some really cool videos. So we've put a link somewhere here. So, but yeah, how are you guys? Top notch, mate. Top notch. Good. Getting the uh, sails off. What are your plans for today? Sails off. New sails on. New sails on. Change the four stay length. Redo the rig. All today. Retune all today, yeah. You know. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, go check these guys out. Let's see if Andy's feeling fresh this morning. Knock knock knock. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? You're right. All good? Really good. How are you feeling today? I woke up at nine and I was like. Oh, this is too soon. Yeah. yeah this is just too soon. <laughs> and I, I woke up, I was like, oh, I need an extra couple of hours. But I also need food. And then yeah. I started like rummaging around the boat everywhere for food. So I ended up having like meatballs at like <laughs> one o'clock in the morning for breakfast. So we're going to go to the dive shop now, I think. Is yeah. that the plan? Yeah, let's get a scoop and tank. Thank you so Thank much you. for watching, guys. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful morning. We're just getting a get some coffee and breakfast and then start boat jobs. So guys, I'm not gonna bore you too much with the details of this, but I've gotta tell you, we saw this quite cheap in the supermarket yesterday and we were like, do you know what? Let's do it. We never treat ourselves. It was like 14 euros. I'm gonna use it now and really quickly show you guys if it's easy to use, because I have no idea what I'm doing water is in filter back in we didn't really know what coffee to get because we have no idea about ground coffee so we just saw this one and thought it's in a nice tin let's get it 
Guys, it's doing the thing. It's doing the thing. Look. What? Bloobs. You all saw Bryn's reaction to the last black coffee. I'm really excited to see if he, uh, if he likes this coffee. We'll let it cool down a bit. So, yeah. So what we're doing today? Well, firstly, I think we should do an engine service. So we'll do an engine service first thing this morning, probably after this, pretty much. Mm. Try some. It's beautiful. It's nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You can see why everyone has like a hype now about coffee. Our life has changed. So we are going to start the engine service now. This is everything that we're going to be using today. So most important thing here is we've got the basically our instruction manual, our user manual for our beta marine engine. We've got our fuel filter, air filter, oil filter, impeller, belt, anode. I've never done this before. Bryn did it last time, so I'm gonna do it today and hopefully it all goes well. Yeah, let's get into it, as Bryn would say. <laughs> so we've had the engine on for about 20 minutes uh, and that's just so that the oil is thinner so we can empty it easier. So first of all, we've just gotta unscrew this um, oil cap. You might not be able to see this properly, but it says oil on it. So I'm pretty sure that's why I have to unscrew. Remove this cap and then there's also, it's going to be hard to show you, but there's like a little tap at the bottom of the pump to just turn in the upright position. Um, and then we should be good to go. So I'm just going to pump that until it all comes out. That's it, isn't it? Yep. We've got just some old oil here that we already had, um, about a litre and a half. So I'm just going to pour that in now and run that through the engine just to give it an extra clean. And then we'll also drain this out as well. After emptying the last bit of oil, we then moved on to drain the coolant. Firstly, I took off the coolant hose and soaked everything with water. I then moved on to the impeller and soaked everything again. As you can see, the impeller was in desperate need of changing and also the most likely culprit of our issues with the raw water not passing through our system. I removed it and gave the area a clean before proceeding to put in a new O-ring. The new impeller then went in pretty easily too. I'm gonna change the anode now. I have just put the spanner there so you can see where it is, just at the back of the heat exchanger. I've never used one of these before. <laughs> the oil filter was on so tight that in the end Bryn had to come and wrestle with it for a good 20 minutes. But once he'd loosened it for me, I just put some oil on the seal of the new one and screwed it back on. So this is the bit that me and Bryn were a bit unsure of, so we wanted to really reread and make sure we know what we're doing. And Previous owner gave us this amazing folder. Bryn took the fuel filter off because it was really tough to get off um, and just put the new one back on. He um, put some oil, obviously, on the seal and then screwed it back on. And now we need to bleed the engine. Um, so when the filter has been replaced, reassembled, it needs to be bled. Um, so we have found where the fuel bleed screw is. Um, it, it's all really awkward, by the way, to find. <laughs> but basically, we found this. Um, so we've just got to open it a little bit and then there's like a little hand priming lever uh, which we've got to pump up and down until no bubbles come out of the bleed screw but this lever is so hard to find um, we've got I'll we'll include a video um, of a closer up view of it because you're not going to be able to see from here um, so we'll include that um, but yeah just going to open that now and prime it and then we'll let you know how it so you can see here the primer, I think you can see anyway. Nothing's coming out yet, but I think it might just take a while. I'm gonna just refill the oil. So I've checked that the tap for the pump is closed. So we're just gonna start by putting two liters in and then we'll run the engine and check the dipstick to see the level. Cause we're not entirely sure how much to put in. So yeah, I'm gonna pour this in now. Probably make a big old mess. So we're just going to reattach the um, water hose 
fill up with colon, and we're about done then, apart from actually we need to change the belt. I think we need to change the belt as well. After putting the hose back on, I then refilled the coolant at a ratio of 50-50 coolant to bottled water, and then moved on to the belt. After loosening the tensioning bolt and moving the alternator across, the belt came right off. The new one went back on with a bit of a struggle, and Bryn then gave me a hand to move the alternator back across and tighten the bolt. The very last bit is the air filter, which this second clip wasn't very easy to access, so we've had to take the whole thing off and undo this Jubilee clip so that we can change it. There you go, you can see the before and the after. I don't think it was too bad, is it, Pete? Nah. Not too mm, bad, but they're pretty cheap, so we'll change it, aren't we? Flux capacitor. <laughs> the flux capacitor. The only thing we have left. That's all we have left. So we're just going to start the engine and um, just have a look over everything. We're yeah. So all done, just tidying up now. Uh, and yeah, I think it actually went, it went all right. It wasn't as hard as I thought. Um, just probably the strength of getting some bits off is where I struggle. Um, but I had my handy, my handy bearded muscle man here. <laughs> <laughs> handy bearded, muscly bearded hairy man. But yeah, it's not servicing an engine. It's all right, isn't it? It's not. It, take it li literally step by step. Step by step. Each one thing at one a time. One thing at a time and it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, that's all done now. And also, it's had a nice little clean. Ooh la la! <laughs> it definitely needed it because yeah. the where's the old impeller? Oh yeah, the impeller. Um, really, is why we had issues um, when we got put back in the water. Yeah, absolutely. So it's missing two of the prongs off it already. This one is almost off, and that one's cracked as well. So yeah, this was yeah basic. definitely needed changing. That um, but yeah, just putting it away now. Not sure what else we're going to do today, but first of all, I need to go make some lunch because I'm absolutely starving. It's like half two or something, which is very late for lunch. I think we're probably just going to eat, have a shower, and take it easy for the rest of the day now. But yeah, we're going to pack up and we'll see you in a bit. Hello. <laughs> 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 What's, give it, give what's Chris up run. to? <laughs> what are you fishing for? I think he's going to pull a prank on his mum. We were just listening to that UB40 song, you know, there's a rat in my kitchen. What? <laughs> <laughs> I did this, but it was Chris's idea. <laughs> That's the answer to that one. <laughs> Thank you all so, so much for watching and we'll see you again next week. Bye for now.